What is up, everybody? Your favorite YouTuber here, Crazy Guy Gaming. Now, tonight we're going to be playing another game I found on Game Jolt. It's called Dark Side Detective. So, without further ado, let's play this. Yeah. The man with no face. Only hair. Sexy hair. Yeah. Jenny, go bye bye. Oh, almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Okay. Dooley. Dooley. You saw me drive up. <laughs> I had my siren on. <laughs> oh, crap. You waved at me. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Jenny went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you deal with, McQueen. Great, let's get started. Yes. Go inside. You know you have hair growing into your eyeballs. And you're ugly. <laughs> Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? That's Detective McQueen, Mr. Taylor. He's here to investigate. Excuse me. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. Sounds shady. You got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. What a douche. They also pay f for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. <laughs> Fine, here, call this number. They'll vouch for me. You receive matches. Yay. This is a matchbook from Busty Busty Bella's Booty Boutique. <laughs> Tell me about Jenny, you son of a bitch. I'll live with you, detective. I don't have much dealings with her. I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. What a jerk. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> I spit on you. <laughs> Daughter's bedroom. Oh, who's this? Oh, let's question the teddy bear. Oh, he's actually going to question the teddy bear. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know you're a bear. <laughs> Stupid know nothing bear. Yeah, let's see. Hello, can I ask what? My baby, my baby is gone. Can you tell me about... She just disappeared, my baby. Is there any... You have to find her. Well, that's what we're trying to do. She's too hysterical to be of any use. How about the little slap? <clears throat> I don't have much use for a dozen pair of pink socks. What about this? Let's take a pen. The label says for use under blacklight. You received a marker. I've never seen a horse with five legs. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. Find me a man that looks like that and I'll give you $1,000. Okay. Challenge accepted. Let's go in here. Master Bader bedroom. <coughs> nanny. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No sorry. Tell me about Jenny. 
She's um she's a good kid. Spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. That's not suspicious. But that's what having a super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Exit. What do you guys say, Dooley? She's beautiful. Ask her if she's single. You know, as part of the investigation. Sure. <laughs> Painting. It's hard to believe that this picture and the crying woman are one and the same. They look exactly the same. Family portrait. Jenny and her mom look quite happy in this picture. Drawers. I probably shouldn't show these to Dooley. <sighs> but perfect. <laughs> hey, what's up here? An attic. Let's look at this portrait. She seems like a sweet kid. I hope I can find her. We shall. Oh, yay. Paint thinner. The paint thinner spilled when that shelf broke. You received paint thinner. No matches. <clears throat> Broken lamp, paint cans. Down. Nothing else in there. Go down. You're ugly. What's in here? Is that where I just came from? Yeah. Closet. Yeah, two men in the closet together. Box of junk. What's this? It looks like a black light bulb. Ooh. Cool. Now we know it. all we need is a disco ball and some white clothes, and I've got myself a sexy party. How come you have no eyeballs? Bookshelf. A good collection of books. Shame the desk suggests that they haven't been looked at in some time. <clears throat> what do you say, Dewey? You can never trust a man who has too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Six. <laughs> and how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> Alrighty. Creepy dog statue. The statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Let's take it. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. Yay, we got a lantern. There's that ugly son of a gun. What about the flowers? Oh, they're plastic. <laughs> You're so cheap. Go back up the stairs into the attic. See if we can do up here. Yeah. Alright. Take this. Click. Click. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. You. Oh, cool. Kind of like view Capney, like. Sure, I can draw there, but what to add? Okay. That's a rookie mistake. Am I missing something? Oh. This. I should probably like this thing, you know, just in case. Is something missing? Well, let's go back down here and check these rooms out, see if we missed anything. Oh, okay. What the heck just happened? Stop doing that. Alright. There, finally. <clears throat> What's this? Seems like 
paranormal contraband. It's just a piece of paper, dude. <clears throat> it's a page from a cult for dummies. <laughs> With some sort of weird pattern on it. Do you recognize this page? That oh or no, I'm more a complete idiot kind of gal. <laughs> well, you're just perfect for Officer Dooley. Let's go upstairs. I think we got all we need. Uh, yeah, paint thinner on this. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe this over here. When the paint thinner spilled, it washed away some of the pattern. I'll, I'll try to redraw it. Oh, cool. We did it. Now let's take this and let's go in here. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No harm, detective, but I ain't going into that creep fest. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Alrighty. Oh, hey. It's a little no eyed girl. Hey, mister. Hello, kid. Are you here to take me home? I am. Good, I was getting hungry. Me too. Okay, kid, let's get out of here. What was that noise? Uh oh. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? The cop. I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. <laughs> Sigh. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian after all. What? It's my job to look after her. You're just a nanny. Especially if anything should happen to her parents, say, for example, getting trapped in a dark mirror world of their bedroom. Hmm. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. Not really. Mm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him across to here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friends in here. And no funny business. What's funny business? Get up, Dooley. Get up. Okay, he's not getting up. And can we do this? Insert Woody Quip here. <laughs> no! And she's gone. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in the dark side. That's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yes. Shame, that nanny was certifiable. <laughs> she was a looker. Duly, she was stabbing in the dark arts with the name to lock innocent folk in a parallel universe, or world. Kidnapped their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the cult books from anyways that stuff is hard to find these days a case for another day Dooley first of all I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess alrighty that was a fun game go ahead and end the video you guys let me know what you think in the comments leave a like subscribe I'm going to leave a link for this game in the description. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.